And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second day of seasonal tournament practice. Today, we're going to be playing 20 games with Poros Give It All, split up into four videos with five games each. So we're going to be practicing with our second seasonal, tour seasonal tournament deck here with the Poros, Por Poros with Give It All. Yesterday we played Tarek Draven all day. We had some really good practice with that, um, and we played played it. it it's kind of a shorter day, and so we played a few extra games, um, not recorded for YouTube. They're still on stream. Um, that's what we did yesterday, and then tomorrow we're gonna play mid range frostbite. So that's gonna be our lineup. We're gonna have Tarek Draven, Poros Give It All, and mid range frostbite. Uh, the let's see. Uh, yesterday the tournament um, finished up. So leaderboard we did end up at. Spot 286, so that's comfortably in the top 700. So we are qualified with the top 700 Masters player. So that will that tournament will be on Sunday, and so I'll be streaming that like normal. If you want to watch it, um, it'll be Sunday about I think maybe three. I think I'll maybe go live like 3:30 ish Eastern time, because I think it starts about four o'clock Eastern. I think, um, as far as I know. But today, let's practice with our second deck, Poros Give It All. This is this is a deck that I think is really strong and can uh, do some really crazy stuff and really crazy powerful stuff with Give It All, um, turning all of your allies into really big threats with tons of keywords and things like that. And not too many people expect it. Now, the tournament, I I believe it's open deck list, like where they have like five minutes to look at your three deck lists. And... So they will be able to see the give it all. So this maybe won't be as good of a tournament deck because they'll see that. But kind of expecting that people kind of understand what's going on with this deck. Um, I still I still like it though. I think it's real powerful. I think it's real good in, in grindy matchups with Aurora Porealis being a really strong card. And, um, you know, Poro Snacks can make all these little Poros into being a lot better. And you have two good champions with Braum and Vi. I, just think, I think this is a pretty strong deck. I like it. So we're going to play it. It's fun to play too. And that's what we're going to see here today. So we'll start this part one of the video. It's going to have our first five games. Um, and yeah, let's have some fun. And that's that's the thing about Legends of Runeterra, just card games in general. You want to be able to have fun. And that's what this Poros deck is. It's a lot of fun. So I don't mind playing it in the tournament. All right, yep. Ranked is working again. I was wondering if it would, um, if they closed it with the tournament. But yeah, it looks like they just took a, a little snapshot of who was where but it is still open so that's good all right so playing against go hard deck um i do like lonely poro against go hard deck but um uh, basically we we really want poro snacks right like we don't want our things to die right away let's but i kind of want to keep it because it's still yeah i'm gonna just keep all this if it was like one of the other like normal one one mana poros i'd mulligan it But it, you know, even though it dies to go hard, um, it gives you another Poro as well. Hey, that's a tough Poro. It doesn't die to go hard. This double Jagged Butcher um, start is worrisome but hopefully Braum and Vi can play some defense and slow him down if I kill you I don't fart you stupid challenger keep up, keep up. is it the boost who knows all right, yep, that should slow them down. Here comes the punchline. First we fight. Freeze. Have you met my shield? Mm. Show me your best. 
So it could... I feel like if I if I grab the 3-3, the three, three, I guess they could use double... Um, double go hard to kill the Braum. We'll just do the 2-2. Two, two. Not that big of a deal. Alright, so now I'm planning on Aurora Porealis and getting some Poro Snacks. Yeah, or they could have had Dreadway Deckhand go hard. That would have killed Braum. We play in bilge rules, son. They don't play very much Grasp the Undying. They usually have Vengeance, though. Like, Vengeance, Ruination, and uh, sometimes... Um, crumble. I kind of really like the spell shield. Kind of really like spell shield. Stand behind Brom. So Brom survived six damage now. Spell Shield <clears throat> helps protect against Ruination. Oh, yes. They're not elusive, though, but they, they do have Overwhelm. Awesome. Not a Vengeance. I was, you know, like, Vengeance on Vi would have made a big difference. So good, not a vengeance. Okay. <laughs> this is, give it all is crazy. So now all these things, they're 9-8 with regeneration and spell shield and overwhelm and tough and challenger. <laughs> so talk about give it all is crazy, man. There. We'll just kill we'll just kill them all. That would level up Braum with the 4 3. No. But I guess they're dead, so. I guess negative 20 it means they're dead. That's too bad. Want to have a cool level up Braum. Yeah, give it all is crazy. Victory is friends we made <laughs> Yeah, bro. This is fun, yes? Maokai. So, probably another Go Hard deck, but using Maokai as the other champion and to go along with the uh, Twisted of Fate. Um, let's mulligan one of I and. I mean, Poro Herder is good, but we need a Poro, of course. Um, I don't know. Like, dare, like again, like daring, daring Poro dying to go hard isn't great. I don't really want that to happen. So we can wait. We don't. We don't have to play this daring Poro right now. Looking for. Hmm. Okay, maybe they're not a go hard deck. Maybe not a go hard deck if they're attacking for seven on turn two. What do you got? Regen? Yes, I will, Archive. Yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming the seasonal tournament like normal. I'm not planning on doing any delay or anything like that. I'm just gonna be streaming like normal. All right, so we're going Braum into Vi. Oh, yes. 
And then after Vi, then it'll be turn six. We'll have a perfect eight mana on turn six for give it all. But then, of course, you know, maybe we could play a couple patch portal bots first. We'll have to kind of see what we want to do on that turn six. But our turn four, turn five is pretty scripted. No, they are a go hard deck. Darren Poro, no. This is not good. You are safe with Got a six. You yeah, know, of course I don't want Brom to die to a go hard. It is easy, see? So I could play Poro Snacks, Poro Bot, Poro Bot. I would have a 3-4 Challenger, 3-4 Quick Attack. Or I just play by. I'm gonna just play by. Okay. So we know they have another uh, Dead Bloom Wanderer in hand. Rom's now at six. This one's gonna be close. Overwhelm and elusive. We weren't expecting callers. I'm sorry, I was kinda of looking at Twitch chat. Was this Curse Keeper? Was that was the I think that was the card they just grabbed. So I think they have multiple curse keepers. Well, I'd love to play Give It All this turn. I, d I don't think I really can. For silver I talk, for gold I <laughs> Don't really want Overwhelm. Oh, why did I play the Poro Snacks? I just wasted that three mana. I should have just cast the Poros next. All right, what are you? Life steal? Yes. Thank you. I will take life steal. They're just gonna have ruination. That'd be sad. Um. Hmm. That means I don't get to give it all. Okay. Let's see. They have three power, so it'd be three, six, nine, twelve. Man, if I would have just played the Poros next first, then they would have been four. And still want to kill them, but all right. I guess I don't get to. Guess I don't get to give it all this turn. Strong. Don't be sad, my friend. Let's show our friends the door. Have you met my shield? Trouble coming at ya. Look how we have grown. All right, both of our champions are leveled up. So I really hope they don't have Ruination. I don't have like the spell shield to protect everybody. Okay, they cannot have Ruination. So that's good. Maokai is not close to leveling up. Also good. Alright, there we go. So they're all going to be 10-6. Lifesteal, Regeneration, Elusive, Overwhelm, Challenger. So there there should be... If, if everybody who qualifies plays, there should be 1,024 people playing in the tournament. And it will be 5 
rounds of Swiss to start with, and all the people that go 5-0, there'll be 32 people that go 5-0, and those 32 people qualify for the next Sunday. You're definitely gone. And I'll keep the rest. I could see getting rid of this patch portal bot also. Okay, cool. We got a portal herder. Man, it just changed from life steal to spell shield this turn. Elusive. Elusive's pretty cool. Beep, 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 beep. We're doing a great job drawing our champions. So far, three for three with having both champions. Uh, right away. What will you have? Eh. That doesn't really need to be thermogenic beamed. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. This one's on the house. The main question is play like get some more daring poros or have two mana available for Mystic Shant. I think I'll just keep the two mana for Mystic Shant. Or do you? Lifesteal? Lifesteal pretty cool. We go where the war mother pigs! My shield is my stuff! This is fun, yes? It is easy, see? Okay, what do we got? Avaros and Hearthguard, that's an 8 8 overwhelm. That's the very best thing to hit off of Outriders. So their top card was just Hearthguard. That's. That's just living the dream. That is living the dream right there. So I could spend all seven mana and thermogenic beam this Avaros and Hearth Guard. Vi stands for vicious. Today we fight as one! I think I just take it instead. And just try to kill them with give it all this turn. Hopefully no frostbite card. Want to let it happen? Give it all. That would give me 30 power of Elusive. And they're at 18. So that will give me 20 power of Elusive. I guess I could cast those. Put it back up to 30 power of Elusives. go. Let's give it all. <laughs> Boom. Dude, give it all Poros is sweet. 3-0. Weimerdinger. Okay. Uh, for the end of the video, it was record with Tarek Draven was 12 and 8. I only went 2 and 3 in the last video. Um, but then we went like 3 and 1 in some games afterwards. Uh, we, we just played a couple extra games afterwards just to, to play, get my ranked a, a little bit higher. So I think if you add those in, I think we were like 15 and 9. So a little bit over 60%. Okay, Viheimer. Um, I'm going to mulligan my hand, I think. I don't think I really want any of these cards. Now, the give it all, that's that's the card that maybe I should be keeping. I just feel like they're going to kill 1-1 one, one elusives fairly easily. I, I want a Poro Snacks, and I want my champions. Yeah, I want Poro Snacks and the champions. I should have probably kept the give it all, though. In her radiant blessing. Hmm. Follow along, 
little ones. Not doing a good job drawing the couple of things that I wanted. Poro snacks and champions. So far, the first three games were all the same. We had we had Braum on four, we had Vi on five, and then we had a Poro's give it all on six it or seven. Or sorry, matter. just a give it all on six or seven. These games have not been that good. Now, where did that one run off to? Taking a couple more cards out of the deck, make it more likely that we draw Poro Snacks or Champion. Okay, got a champion. Those we care for reflect our love. Vi stands for vicious. Keep searching. So they they have cards like you know Pill Cascade. They also have like healing cards. I don't know exactly how I want to play this. Challenger and Spell Shield. Stay out of there. I should have kept that give it all. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Made him burn a Vi. Can't really spend 10 mana on Thermogenic Beam on that thing. Because, you know, then I don't. Then I can't break up a Bastion with Troll Chan, Mystic Shot, stuff like that. Could double Mystic Shot. Thank you, Aurora Porealis. That's a card I, would, I like seeing. Um, the problem is I have too many cards in hand first. So. I tried being Trouble coming at ya! Finally, Porealis. I don't know why I'm not attacking with the Elusive. I kind of forgot about that Elusive. Um, that's fine. I could save it, but I'm just gonna let it happen. Unforeseen outcome. Do you need to clear my hand a little bit? Or the Aurora Borealis. That card's a pain. Ah, uh, I should have hit them for one. Could have played this Plunder Poro. Would you believe he once fit in my hand? Yeah, I think Poros do okay against Soraka Kench because um, our deck does a really good job with elusives of like playing elusives and pumping up elusives, um, and they don't they don't really stop give it all either. It's like they they have like their main card, they have like Hush, they have the box to push to challenge. Tom Kench eating stuff's a little slow, but you know, of course that's an option too. But I think that we do okay in that matchup. So putting the Immortal Fire down to two so we can kill it the first time. Am I that worried about Heimerdinger right now? I guess probably not. Forget that about this deck sometimes. Really need to. Um, yeah, they have so much healing like that. You really got to kill things the first time. That's that's definitely something that I have gotten in trouble with before. Trust me, 
Ganhado. Oh dear, why are you here? Believe or burn. The little ones. Have faith. This thing has elusive. I clear up some room. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Cool. Spell shield. Spell shield challenger. The light of my star warms the heavens. I should have kept the give it all. That was that was a bad mulligan with the give it all. By me. Stands for violence. Bad mulligan. Justice first hand. Trouble coming at ya. It is time. Blinding daylight. One, two, punch. Seven. Maybe I need to block this thing. Because I could see them having seven points of burn to kill me. Yeah, I'll thermogen thermogenic beam the vibe, but you know, like Bastion's a card, right? Like I don't, I don't want to like waste eleven mana for the Bastion. Let's, you know, let's trade off some stuff. Let's get some more Poros out here. Another spell shield. Probably don't need another spell shield. So the Immortal Fire did already die one time. So what would I rather throw a Genic Beam? What would I rather kill? Vi or get the 7 5 elusive out of here? Does feel like they are holding up Bastion. Doesn't it? So gonna try to kill the Immortal Fire. It's easy. Like maybe you could have like a Plunder Poro challenge a Vi. But of course, their their deck does a great job of healing, so I probably shouldn't rely on that killing that. How can Brom help? Mm. Let's show our friends the door. Hit him where it hurts. Trouble. Yeah, I, got, I just gotta try to trade those. Show me your best. Cool. I just don't, I don't want to take the five. You know, I don't want them to be able to buy challenge. Like if I use my three three to challenge their buy, and they use whatever thing to save it, I'm in trouble. Answers. I have them. So we've killed one Heimerdinger and they discarded a Heimerdinger. This is their last Heimerdinger. I know I can 
get more elusives in play right now, but that does tell my opponent what my hand is. I didn't want to do that right away. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Daylight star will rule the skies. I guess it should just be the upset. Get them elusives. Insolence. So I'm down to three. I wish I would attack with this 5 1 overwhelm now. So I'm to one. Kill them. I'm putting the I'm putting the extra bonus over here so that a mystic shot doesn't save them. Mm. Wow. So they had the mystic shot, but then they also had a high. Wow. Well, this looks pretty bad now. Wow. That was, that was awesome. Double hush, get excited, mystic shot. <laughs> and then Bastion? Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of early cards. Lee Sin Zed. Lee Sin Zed looked good when we played against it yesterday. Alright, so I think we learned to not mulligan give it all, right? Like, that's what we learned. Don't mulligan that card. So this hand, this hand looks just fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to just keep everything. What was the sec what what did we play against their second game? Snacks. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Witness glory. Overwhelm. for overwhelm. I just want to keep this up to, to take down Zed. I'm not playing the other Poro snacks. I want to be able to thermogenic beam a Zed. The spirit gives to those who listen. I mean I, I kept one snacks in my opening hand and we drew another one.
Cool, no Lee Sin. That's good. We have regeneration. I guess I could play regeneration. That's not the worst. Regeneration, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, that's too bad. That's gonna kill Aporo. Wait, they, they passed priority? So I could thermogenic beam it? And keep Aporo alive? Okay, I will do that. Bye. But I want to play Aurora Porealis. Yeah, Vi is just a 2-4 right now, not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, I kept giving it all against the Deny deck. Make it up for not keeping give it all last time. I was writing down my wins and losses and stuff. Cool, another daring Poro. So this turn I could go plucky Poro, daring Poro, Vi, and then next turn give it all. What once was two now is one. So it's a 6 5. Do you think they have Pell Cascade? We could have Pill Cascade or Hush. Cool. Hush Hush would have been a lot worse for me. Pill Cascade, at least, you know, like we trade and kill their big 6-5 lifesteal. Troll chance a good draw, so I'm just gonna play another Daring Poro, a Vi, and then have Troll Chant up. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Piltover Enforcer on the scene. You think they took Crescent Strike? Wow. Yeah, I was thinking Equinox. But yeah, it looks like it was Crescent Strike. We have no quarrel. I don't know why my tough isn't attacking. I meant to attack with that, I just kinda forgot, I guess. Because it's not like I'm playing around Hush, because Hush would just blow up these elusives anyway. What is gained when we return malevolence? Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Our enemies cannot hide. Dragon Spirit Awakens! Uh, we, you can also, we can get regen a couple other ways. We did have regen with the, um, with the two-mana portal also, Patch Portal Bot. That could get a, like, if you want a specific keyword, that can get you any keyword. Patch Portal Bot can. Also, the Lonely, uh, Poro that generates a random Poro, that can get a, a keyword in for you. Send 
Enter your spirit. Darn. Prepare Yay. yourself. All right, let's make some 10 power elusives. Not very many keywords for that give at all, but that should hopefully be good enough. cast give it all in four games like four of the five games we drew give it all we cast it we win the one game we i mulliganed away the give it all never drew it um back so we never cast it we lost that game no coincidence so that's why i kept it there that last game and it it won the game for us you know it's a good good card to keep yeah so give it all is just really crazy <laughs> it is it is crazy good and uh, with all these poros, you just get a bunch of surprise kills. You know, yeah, definitely wonder what my opponents think whenever, you know, like they don't kill the Vi right there. I can't imagine they were expecting give it all if they don't kill the Vi. And then, boom. There it is with the all the 10 power elusives after that. All right, so there we go. That's our first uh, first out of four. For uh, first of four videos for Poros Give It All, you know, we're doing the practice with this deck here today, and so far so good. Nice 4 1 to start with, and it feels good. You know, I don't think there's really a thing to change about the list, but you know, just want as much practice as possible before the seasonal tournament. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments, and uh, I will see you back for part two. So, thank you so much for watching. See you for the next video.